Hey, this is Nate Mill. In this video, I'll show you how to install a custom kernel to the Thunderbolt to overclock your phone or to set it to save battery life. First thing I'll show you is how to check what kernel you're currently running. You can hit Menu, Settings, About Phone, Software Information, and mine's the third one down here, Kernel Version. That'll tell you what kernel you're running. Okay, so the first step will be to download a kernel from the internet. There will be a link in the video description to a list of kernels. You can pick whichever one you want. Download it, load it to your SD card. Then we'll open up ROM Manager. Install ROM from SD card. And then you're going to navigate to wherever you saved the kernel. Here's mine. Emo Seiyan Lean Kernel version 2.5.1 for Sense. You want to make sure the kernel you download is compatible with your ROM. That's very important. Um, you might want to make a backup, I would, in case the kernel doesn't work right with your ROM. You can always restore your phone. I already made a backup, so I'm not going to check that. You do not want to wipe data or cache. You want the new kernel to override your existing kernel, so you're going to leave that unchecked. Do not wipe data and cache, and you can wipe the Dalvik cache, that's fine, so just leave the last one checked. Or the first and the last if you want to make a backup. Okay, then I'm going to hit OK. OK. My phone will reboot into recovery and flash the kernel, and then reboot. So I'll see you when that's finished. Okay, my phone is now booted back up. It took a while on the first boot. Now to overclock your phone or just govern the CPU in general, you can use an app like Set CPU. It's a paid app from the market. Here you can set the maximum for your CPU and the minimum for your CPU. So right now I just overclocked it to 1.9 gigahertz set that back down. Here you can adjust the governor of your CPU. You can read about those uh, on the link that I put in the video description. So say you don't want to buy set CPU and you're running DASBAMF. If you go into the DASBAMF toolkit, you can also govern the CPU right here in CPU settings. See, there's the min frequency and the max frequency in the governor. So you can change them right there. You don't even need set CPU. Okay, so that's how you can overclock with a custom kernel. Now this last bit I'm going to do here is just for the Imo Seiyan kernel. He has a special script called the Speed Tweak uh, script. So I'm going to show you how to run that. You're going to need a terminal emulator. You can download it for free from the market. It looks like that. Or if you have, have DASBAMF again, you can just use the toolkit. Third one down, there's the terminal emulator there. So I'm just going to launch that. Okay, right here, you'll see a dollar sign. You're going to type in SU, enter. It might ask you to allow super user permissions. Just go ahead and allow that. You should then see a pound sign up here. You're going to type speed tweak dot sh. Enter. And you'll see this script pop up. It says lean kernel speed tweaker. And then you can select one, two, three, four, five to customize the kernel. You can choose normal, extreme, 1.9, 1.9x, or battery saver. I'm going to choose battery saver because I like that one. It saves my battery. If you want to overclock and still save battery, you'd select number two for extreme. That's extremely undervolted, but overclocked to 1.4 gigahertz. So I'm going to choose five because I want battery saver. 
I hit enter there, hit enter again. And it says down here, you appear to be running battery saver mode. That's good, that's what I wanted to do. And then if you look up again here, 8, 9, and 10, you can choose the governor, the interactive X, the smartass, or the on-demand X. I'm on says his favorite is interactive X, the perfect blend of power save and speed. So I'm going to use that one. So I type a number 8, enter, enter. So there we go, now I'm running battery saver mode with the Interactive X Governor. I'm going exit, to exit the script by typing 14, enter, enter, oh I'm sorry, just one enter. And it says here, all set, be careful about using set CPU, you can easily override the min-max settings. He recommends you, if you adjust your kernel that way, that you shouldn't even use set CPU because it might override the settings that the speed tweak script changed. So 